This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what. and beat conference champion in first matchup of the year St. Mary's. Mount St. Joe's have dominated their first two meetings so far. Home tips and missed it there. But the gals and the ball going back, back to the Saints on this end. St. Mary's graduation hurt the Saints. They got a young squad. We're gonna see how they do today. They have two seniors. George Brandling, number 11. Ali Castillo, number 22. So, Let's see how that goes. Mount St. Joe's, of course, had a lot of seniors leaving. They had a lot of juniors last year, and they're seniors now in the main couple. Tyrone Corral. Going to Uno today here in these great jerseys. Loving the great. Here for Mount St. Joe's. First two matches that dominated Chapel Gate Christian and Concordia Prep from the B Conference. They get the B Conference champion of a year ago. Shot clock running down as Hopper had it. Shot clock at seven. Got to shoot it. Does. Air ball. Rebound back to Pharrell. Pharrell with it back inside. Nice pass in the middle. Crossley block. Swings it back. Face of the brass work. Over to Truett. Layup in there to Pharrell. Easy two. An impressive play there for the senior. Rhode Island will be his home next season. Ball step back. Seems like an old tradition here for us on DSN, coming at you from uh, Mount St. Joe's here on Thanksgiving Eve. You see it on Turkey Day before everything gets it going for you. Great game with Mount Campbell and uh, Riverdale back this Monday evening. What a matchup it was. A huge confidence when they open the season up for Mount Carmel. Gales with a super scrimmage over the weekend coming up. That's a three for Braceworth. Hits it! Really fine up in the lead for the Gales. Matt. Brandon Dreyer. Dips inside. Layup no good there for Johnson. Offensive rebound there for the Saints. Saints come out from Annapolis. Hits it! Wingfield to the 10 and in. Quick seven up the lead, Coach Quinn said, nah, nah. To the end of that one and time out. Again, the third game of the season for Mount St. Joe's. Each area. Well, with, it, with, with the city having no third, they kind of short. Tip the mess out of bounds. Ball stays with the Gales here. Back over to Truett. He got bumped there briefly. He's looking to pass that ball base for the first. They got him turned over. Good defense there team-wise by St. Mary. Uh, that's a, that should be a kick ball going back to the Gales. I mean, you can hold the ball with your hands, but not with your feet. 558 here left in the first quarter. Happy holidays to one and all. Plays with double. Yeah. At the timeline, got the ball over and tied. They got him. Good defense again by the Saints. And of course, Miguel's in the top of the floor of uh, the Saints. Hey, we play, played the video with him. We did an interview with him at the. Summing up in your score here so far. Yeah. It 
is Johnson and Bannon. Over to Hall. Hall brings it. Hall drives, bangs, swings it back. Stevens on this is jumper. Fight goes out. Nice offensive rebound of Tomlin. Castillo to 6 8 6 4. And got that one to go. 17 now. First points of the season for the Saints. Trying to defend the uh, beat off the championship. Got it. Got it around. Got it back still. Track, track over. Back over. Should be easy too. It will be. Shelman with that one. Lee cut the three. Charles Hill with the win earlier today against the. Uh, Swings it again. Jumper. Yes. Nice bucket there by Truett. Ten for your score here. Kiss. Back. Shot clock at 14. Time one. Good defense here by Miles St. Joe. Leslie and Coach. Pack. Five two. To stay with Samo. That shot clock's wrong. Shot clock reset at 20. for the senior. Nailed it. I'm for the score. Two team fouls so far on St. Mary's. Remember this year's rule change for free throws. You get five, two shots the rest of the quarter. Team fouls reset. Player fouls do not. Ball for a game here. We hit eight. That's a shot, shooting three. First shot, play goes in. Second shot of three, and then, that's in. Go on the whistle back there. Third shot, and get them all. Call seven, your score here. I think they got him a quick move. Three forty left here in the first quarter. Gale trying to get the three and zero. Oh, 
Pat Clashy trying to get the 795 wins all time. Swings it back. Steak jumper. Short. Rebound in. Braves work with it. Pat and Terrell. Wingfield for three. Steps in there. Offensive rebound. Terrell was looking for home. Terrell takes the three himself. In and out. That's a three. Tipped and missed. Back the other way. Bracewell. Over. Around. Oh. Oh. St. Mary's touched that last. Left down a little closer than I am. But. Ball back to St. Mary's here. Swings it back. Looking inside. Over. Against Holmes. Top up top. Corral had it. Grab and a foul. Gotta hit that hustle in here in this first quarter. Let's see John Kell next week here on DSN against good counsel up in Bali. Should have been an interesting game there. He was able to be an atmosphere Christian today by 11 in an early matinee game. Give him here. That's a steal there. Raceway with a second one. Corral to the 10. Lead up to seven doubles up. St. Mary's here. Looking in. And it briefly off the steal. Back inside. Can't go anywhere with that. Up top. And Adam spin it in. Castillo, the senior, with two good ones there so far. 14 and 9. Two minutes left here in the quarter. A good one so far in the Smith Center. Here in Overton. Race work. Gave it up there. Pharrell with it. Lost it, got it back, puts it in. 16 and 9 now. St. Murray's giving some assistance in this size. Here of the Saints playing the fact. Oh man, couldn't get it though. Castillo had another good one there. Just couldn't get it to the left. We're out with it. To the basket. No. Ball batted around. Vincio. Numbers here for St. Mary's. To the basket. Ball around. Snatched away. Fighting for it. Mount St. Joe's gets it back. 107 here left in the first quarter. With a minute left in the quarter here and a seven point lead. Home. Back. Racer almost doubled there. One on one. Well, shot clock at 10. Well, puts it up. No good. Back over. Swings it. Going to the basket. A lot of that shot and went in. 16 to 11. Oh boy. Doubled in the corner. Inside the home. Swings it back around. Passing the sophomore. Game has it. Four, three, brace work, deep three, no. And the quarter will in there. Oh, the Gales went two games. They kind of had a grip one, 
Chapel Gate Christian and Concordia Prep, the defending B Conference champion, down five after one. We're back in the second quarter. Here with the DMP High School Basketball Showcase continues from Irving. Second quarter about to get cooking here in the Smith Center. And the defending B Conference champion hanging with the defending A Conference and BCL champion Mount St. Joe, 16-11. Here in the second quarter. Nice double drive here, back. From a little fan, fan to drive, driver, excuse me, fan to drive. Johnson, shot clock at 10. Turnover. The message did not send there. St. Mary. 16 11 so far. Looking home back. Bryson for three. This time, bucket there by the sophomore. Back inside. Johnson turned it over. Corral with it. That's a foul. First team foul in the second quarter for the Saints. A little alumni uh, action afterwards. In the cafeteria at Mount St. Joe. Always fun to see Mount St. Joe's alumni in the bounce. Football a couple weeks ago with Calvin Hall and Al St. Joe. Coming in. Corral. Shot clock at 12. Bates. Short off the side. Got his own rebound back. 2 to 2. Two shots here as the Gales try to make this in a 10 point lead here at the free throw line. First shot in there. <laughs> One substitution so far for the Gale. Second shot, plank over the way. The lead at nine here. Bring it up the court here to Tillman. Over here to Hall. Ronnie Hall, the freshman. <laughs> Offensive foul. That's the 13th foul right on St. Mary. Grace real quick. Brings it back over the green. In the corner, the three. Grace! Grace Murphy with another. Big lead of the game for the Gales on the Um, a little bit of a one side game. The tap back, no good. Green back up the court. That's a foul. Hall with the initial contact, he got called for. Hey, how with some big minutes off the bench there for the Gale. 23-11 you score here. Three quarters of the game. Corral. Double there. Green in the corner. I get it back. Grace work. Pulls up on the line. Hits it! I know Jay sits there. 25-11. The Gales offense rolling here at the moment. Very well old machine right now. Long pass over. That's a three. No good. That's a foul. The other way. Back to the game.
vitamin B for beer. <laughs> I get here at 6 a.m. Yeah. I'm getting older. I'm All right, so that's five fouls already. I'm not like working on the panel, but you're right. You're still here. Are you present? I'm doing emails. I know. We're shooting two. Shooting two at the line. Really? Because you got to be here until you know, everything wraps up. Yep. Yeah. 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 This game and that's in the second quarter here. Yeah, two freshmen. Uh, 35 and 32. Nice. 35 and 32. We got Joe Green. 11 Oh. Looking to drive to bring it back. Two seniors, two freshmen. Over to Cheney. Costello. Back up, bat it. It went everywhere, turned it over. Foul there. You coming to shoot? Oh, so they said the foul was against the uh, Gale. Right from this point the other way. First foul on uh on St. Joe's head of the court. Oh. Maybe had to shoot that when you got it. Now needs that one to go. No. Nope. Rebound the Corral. Corral to the basket. Cat from under. Forced it up, no good. Now back here to St. Mary's. All. Looking. All with it back. Looking to drive. All. You got it. Costello with it. Puts it in. First points of the second quarter for the Saints. I'm out by the Gales here. We're more than halfway done here in the second quarter. Four, four left. And a 27-13 game. Somebody check the sign in the dice. So nothing wrong with tweet us at dice. Email. Email.com. Twitch at dice. Twenty net. Twenty two. Catch at the money sign. Dice. Twenty network. Mr. Van Facebook YouTube. Dice. All out there. Coming at you with Football Friday with Prairie Hall, Colston Mervo, and the 4A, 3A, MPSSA semifinals. Look one up in the swamp. Neil right now. Basketball next week, St. Francis and St. Francis Pilate. John Kell hosting the council from the WCAC. And we will have St. Paul's against Mount St. Joe's back in the Smith Center next week here on DSA. Maybe MPSSA game, end of the week. Yes, you know. Going into the following week. Rock Memorial Tournament, our first full foray of girls action. We got some good national games coming your way now. Pass. Long pass. Shot clock at six. Race with another long cross court pass. That's a three off the back, no good. I'd say the offensive rebound should have been there. Back around. Rebound back to St. Murray. Uh, the Saints don't got the numbers. Went in anyway inside, tipped and missed. Foul back. Come clean. Dish. Spins out. No good. Somebody 
the other guys in. That's the three here. No. Oh. the hall about Spanish Spangle. Oh, what a reversal! How about Johnson with that one? And the lead, cut to 12. Looks like Wainfield looking to come back in this one. Sitting for a while, Bracewell still in the contest now. Stick three! The senior passes it in! Double to lead back up on St. Mary's there, 30 to 15. That is us. And he stepped out. Stepped out. St. Mary's gets it up. 223 left in the corner. And in the half. to get it back. That's a good news. 14 seconds on the shot clock for the Saints on this possession. second team foul of the court. First shot, nailed it. Oh, 
Nice. Raceworth pulls up. We got a foul. Well, against the gang St. Mary's just trying to see was it on or off the ball. Looked like it was on the ball. And we're shooting two. on the BNA Conference especially. Second half back here at the Board of DMV High School. Basketball Showcase.
second half about to get rolling here from over 10, 37, 23. From the MIA Eight Conference regular season champion, BCL regular season postseason champion, Los Angeles in front. Race work for three. Nope. Right around, we down back. Costello and company. That's the three. Tipped and missed. The offensive rebound. And it turned it over. Wingfield back to it. Blocked. Couldn't get the roll. Mount St. Joe's keeps it. Field for three. In there. All around a home run. Biggest lead of the game again, 17 now. Back the other way. Brace work. Right here. Dish. With a little layup. Tap back did not get it. Now ball. Possession arrow will go to St. Mary's. Breaks it. Well, long distance jumper. No. All back to St. Mary. Let it go there and the Saints retain. Swings it. Wayfield was open. Raceworth shoots it. Tip the miss. Wow. Plank goes out. That was close. Long distance jumper. Nope. Out of bounds. And the ball back the other way here to St. Mary's. Before it did roll out, though. St. Mary's Crystal. Who they got next? Looking. Too much there. Back the other way is Wainfield. Just to Pharrell. And Pink it in there. <laughs> Biggest lead of the game by 19. 42 points. He has told me we are Three stops in the game. 
back to game action here. St. Clarence will get the ball. 42-23 is score. Look at uh, just a box score. And one! Down it. There for Johnson, the sophomore. They're going to affect the play. Trying to cut the lead here. 16 and do. Riding down the court, that's a foul. Both teams with one each here in the third quarter. And we both get the five and shooting two. Yeah, run to the four. No, got one. Well, the big guy. Wingfield, you able to keep it. Pull up. Tip the mess. Rebound back here. Same matter. You gotta get tougher. The other guy got one. Shot clock at eight. Johnson. Block, shot clock volley. What a good offensive session there for St. Mark. It doesn't look like whatever it is. Get it rolling, bring it out here. Great work. We're going to drive to the basket. Shooting team. Transfer out of good counsel. Yeah, this is the guy's worth here. And at the line shooting two is the senior. Logan. Second shot went through, lead 17. Cumber! Back the other way. Wingfield up top. Grace works deep three. No. Offensive rebound to it. Wingfield was kept it. Corral. They're looking. That's a foul. Shooting two there. Shots here at the line. And that's time you see us Friday. Bring to you Saturday morning, Perry Hall and Murdo. Hardwood. We'll be down St. Vincent Pilati and Lowell. St. Vincent Pilati lost to St. Maria Goretti yesterday. We'll see them against St. Francis. It's St. Francis' second game officially of the season. Lead back to 19. Oh, Sambo. And stolen by the jail. Kick City. To the basket. No good. A lot of brace work. Home.
Maryland back when they done it. Another belt. When he get it down, where he just dribble. team against Mount St. Joe's before they brought me in. Chapel Gate didn't have much of a prayer. Shooting two here. Go back to St. Mary's. It
Shot clock at seven. Four, three. Race work for three. Spanked it off the back. Rebound back. That's the three for Johnson. Rebound back. Race work. Shot clock, game clock, three seconds up. Need an outside jumper here. Hall didn't go for it. Clock for the Numbers again on defense. Corral with it. Corral to the basket. No good. He stepped out. Out of bounds, and the Gales catch a break there. They get the ball back. 7.8 seconds left here in the field. Quarterback here from West Baltimore. Fourth quarter here on the way from uh, Irvington and Mount St. Joe's up in this one, 53 29. Control the pace on offense. The hey, Mariners are not giving in in this game, though. They're playing hard their first game of the season. Swings it. Swings it back. That's a three. Short. Offensive rebound over. Nice bucket there from Tillman. Touch the lead at 22. Now your Thanksgiving day, you get that turkey in the oven. That crop is going, that's a turn over there, one on one. To the basket. Offensive rebound in there. Gentlemen with it back. Lead cut to 20. And just there, Saints. Giving in, we're going away quietly. Holmes, no. Round the filming. Go back and lose control a little bit. Looking. Back away. Back. Now for the uh, game. Girls are in the IAM 8 conference now. Oh, home open to St. Monica. So, St. Mary. They got a couple of good road games. Willis is one of them. On the first, and Ron that. South River. That's a foul. All these games out of the first of the year. The St. Mary. Second team foul, I believe, on uh, the Saints.
three shots in the line for the senior. Nails the first. St. Paul's game next week. We'll be back here for that one. Gales right there will be 3 0. And they get Severin the day after that. And the Eagle Classic is a Christian. United States Seminary. BCL stuff that starts for the game. Rolling on the road, Cabo on Mount Kelmo Hill. Office of Spalding. On the road and then match up in the Japanese Classic against City. Fifty-six thirty-five is score. Drive hole. Trying to reverse though, and Farrell had none of that. Five twenty-eight left here in the game. Side hooks up in there. Marcello with that one. 56 37. And the Saints didn't give it in. Goodness. Ralph. Drive to the basket. They'll be shooting up here and there. 13 foul now. King foul now. One more of the uh, double bonus. Thing. So he's old. Yes, saying that one and one. Uh, straight to two shots. Three. Nailed it. Oh, 
Boston on that. You know, you see the potential here with St. Mary's team, and they're defending B Conference champions for a reason. And I'd be surprised if they're back in that B Conference race once again. Saints trying to three peak in the B Conference. Both of their championship games a year ago. Corral shooting a pair. Last two seasons, I mean. Chapel game in that was there. Christian respectfully the last couple of seasons. Huh? Yeah, I had to Short. Three forty one remaining here in regulation time. And that breakfast is late or? That one rolls in, one of two, so it's 42. Lead to 18. Shot clock at five, four, up and in, not the roll of the at the bumper. 644. That's a reach in, we're shooting two down here. We're shooting a bear. Field jumper, no good. Ball going back the other way here. Looking here. Inside. Come on, count it. Got the basket to go and one more. And Tillman getting it to go through. But it looked like he landed on his ankle. That you don't want to see. Trying to see if he can be able to able to shoot these free throws here. Will not be able to. And we're hoping that the junior be all right. He's had a pretty good fourth quarter here. Overall, good game. He'll really come on offense in the fourth here. Shooting the free throw for him is. James DeVito, 6'11 center. Yeah. 61 47. So, props here to the Saints. they able to keep this a respectable game. And we're down 14 here at the moment. Looking here. Shot clock at 12. Corral. Oh! Throw it down, big man! Throw it down and one more! This is summertime be a CAB type of deal there. Woo, 
move on. We can do it. In the fall and one or two. And a trip and miss there. At the end one. 63-47. So coming down the pipe, 140 left in this. Up top. Ball stays with uh, St. Mary's. He's going to keep the ball. Center that piece there. Looking. Able to get that pass in. Costello, no good. Corral with it. Corral, one more time. Had it all. Popped around, took back over. Winfield inside, right there. Coach Quinn said, hey, we was making a run now. We're back down 18, and we're fighting here. Let a little two things go. Let's talk about it. As once again, the next time you see us, we on the Gridiron Friday in the MPSSA 4A 3A semifinal between Mervo and Prairie Hall. And on the hoops in next week at St. Francis Pilate with St. Francis coming to law. And that one, the council taking it right up to Bel Air. Take on John Kell. Third in a row, those two will meet in the single game situation. The council's won both matchups. One of John Kell was really good. We did a couple years ago, and then one last year down only down on one side of the game for the council. And we'll be back here to see Mount St. Joe's next game coming up against St. Paul's on Wednesday. The Crusaders with a game against John Kell, they kind of Made that first pesky. They was only down two at one point in that one. And the uh, Patriots was able to survive. We get to see St. Paul's here at Mount St. Joe's next week. And now how the NPSSA football schedule go. We'll be at a game Thursday or Friday. But we're not at one day. We could be at a basketball game another. 16 remaining. Inside. Braceworth touched it last. Ball back to uh, the Saints. Last 108 left here in the game. With also in one. Down it. Nope. The end one did not go. One minute left here in this one. Shot clock. Minute 14. Blaze work. Attempted to shoot it. Shot clock is seven by now. And we'll put butt to now. He does. Show it. Passed it, got it back there with Thompson, and they turned it over there. 32.7 seconds left. Air regulation. Last 30 seconds left, St. Mary's. See how they own in this one. And trying to get to the 50 mark, and we'll try to at the line. Mount St. Joe's will go to 3-0 here on this young season. Then they got a mega scrimmage coming up over the weekend with uh, Sipwell Friends and Gonzaga and uh, Eleanor Roosevelt from PG County coming in the building. Good shot in there. And so they use the Smith Center for the main against Mount St. Joe's. The old Memorial Gymnasium will be in use for the other scrimmages. Well, that one. So 65-51 again. Big conference champion here. Showing some worth in this matchup here. Only got down 24 at one point. Very good in this game. And 
dribble this one out. That's the base was going to do. Close pack, Clanchy. Five wins away from 800. And they have won 795 here in the Smith Center at home. Beating the defending big conference champion, St. Mary's 65 with 51. St. Mary's dropped their opener here on the road. They go to 0 1 in the young season. While St. Joe's with three straight B conference opponents, they're beaten. They go to 3 0. They get St. Paul's here next Wednesday. We're back here in the Smith Center for that. We got a ways to go before then. First outdoors where it's cold and might not be too bad Friday, but in the swamp at Perry Hall, it'll be Murbo and Perry Hall for the right to go to Navy in the MPSSA 4A 3A football semifinals. Happy Thanksgiving to you. We'll see you over the weekend at Light Mars. Go on for that. This is Die Sporting Network.